what is up you guys it's your boy DJ Lil back again with another tutorial and today I'm gonna talk about group channels in reason so let's get to it uh, group channels like I said in my previous one about Cubase is uh, uh, channels that you want to put your related things together so you don't get lost in the mix for instance let's say you have a session that has uh, that has instrumentals there and then they includes vocals as well maybe you know 10 5 channels you know which consist a, a verse a, a chorus maybe three verses and what you just want to keep everything separate so you don't get lost in the mix you know so for me what i usually do if i got a scenario like that i group the beat i put it in one group channel the whole beat if i want to separate my kicks with everything else then what i do is group the kicks together like the whole drum kit and then leave the other instruments there and then make another group for the whole beat so when i do you know and then i go to the vocals and put a group channel for everything verse one verse two uh hook and so forth all right let's dive into it here i've got a bit here let's see how much channels it has i can't say nobody told me because my father did there's niggas that have the money that we always lead get it straight understand it then all right so it has about nine channels which has three vocals something simple but let's get the, let's get the basic idea of groups right here so in reason it's as easy as going to uh go into the instrument right here and just say right click and say you want to create a mix channel right create mix channel once you click that it's going to bring a channel which is black now no nothing is rooted to it so you just have to go ahead and rename it whatever you want to group it there so here in case i in this case i'll say i'll say beat yeah so that that group it's for for the whole beat so i'll root every instrument to that channel so rooting it is easy as well i'll just go ahead and right here where there is output to all the instruments mm. and then just say root it to this bit channel all right let me can i move this yeah let me put it here right then i go output then i say output this to bit right then you can see the group lead lights up showing that something is rooted to it it brings the color on its own and uh so you don't get lost since you have already named it and you just have to do the rest with the other instruments go into bit there go into bit there go into bit there so what you have done now this knob represents the whole bit you drop this the whole bit drops right so from the start I rhyme better a chest cheddar. Right. I can't say nobody told me because my father did. There's niggas that have the money that we always lead. Get it straight, understand it, then you finally dig. Right. We have done that group channel for the beat. Uh, like I said, sessions do get tough most of the times, do get bigger you know you get about 60 channel 70 somewhere there and when you start scrolling down it is just a lot it's just too much to handle so find your angle see what you can group together so you don't get so you don't get lost during the mix you know try to keep it separate like i said a vest with a, with with this is on feather uh hook with this on feather uh something like that so I've done for the beat. I'm also gonna do for the vocals. They will take one bass because here is just vocals. There's no backings. There's no nothing. It's just a lead there and there and there. 
So I just want to group them together. If I had backings, I would say I have another group channels for backings only. That's how I treat my vocals. The lead vocals, I put them on a separate lead. And then the backing vocals, I put them in another different uh, group. Right? Because, yeah, it works better like that for me. And then we go ahead and right click on the audio now. Any audio. Then we say root to new output. Or you can say create mix channel as well. Whichever works for you. Which one? Whichever is close to you. I say I'll say vocals on this one. Right. Then let me put it at the end here. Right. Then it's the same process. You go to output. You go to all channels, then you go to vocals for the vocals. Then you go vocals. Then you go vocals. Now, what what I have there is a fader for the beat, this one, and a fader for the vocals out here. And you can see the colors really differentiate everything else. So the more you add groups, the more they're going to take different colors, you know. So you don't really get lost on the mixer as it gets huge. So yeah, to keep your workflow easy and nice and faster, here's what's up. So you can see this one takes all the vocals in and out, the fader. I drop it, no vocals coming in or out. I drop it up, I put it up, then uh, you know everything comes back to life. Can't say nobody told me cause my father did There's niggas that have the money that we always lead Get it straight, understand it, then you finally dig Money talks Right? So it is as simple as that But go ahead and experiment Make as much as many groups as you want to make See how that suits your needs Alright, and that is all about groups and reason And uh, yeah I hope this video helps you and don't forget to subscribe.